Headline News at 5 a.m. Joining us in the Information Center is Gene Tansky. He is CEO of Demand Foresight. That's a company that tracks commodity prices for food companies. It's good to see you again, Gene. Hey, Greg, good to see you. Some economists are worried that we're about to enter a period of persistent high inflation combined with high unemployment and stagnant demand. We call that stagflation. What is your take on that? I would agree. It's a, it's a very real risk. Uh, the last time stagflation was part of the American lexicon was back in the 70s. Um, and if you look at the high government debt as a percentage of the economy, uh, a weakening dollar, um, the stagnant job market, um, those are ingredients to a, a stagflation sure. recipe. But if you look at the consumer price index just at the, at the surface, it really doesn't show any scary signs of inflation. So is the CPI a reliable measure of the cost of living now? CPI, by definition, is, a, is an average. So if you are a policymaker, it has relevance. Um, if you are uh, Bruce and Sheila on the street, uh, it doesn't really reflect uh, the increase in food prices, fuel prices, so probably not so much. Now, you can't walk into a grocery store without seeing and really feeling the impact of these rising prices. In your opinion, what do you think should be done or could be done to mitigate commodity price hikes at, at both the corporate level and, and the national level, too? Well, corporate level, it's got to be a singular laser-like focus on the supply chain. And that all the research shows that the best way for that is a, is a focus on demand planning and forecasting, obviously something very important to us. That allows them to ha focus on cost and customer service and take advantage of when, when their competition fails, like Toyota and what GM and Ford are doing there. At a, corp at a, at a government level, uh, debt levels, get the dollar stronger, reform the job market, and so on. And, and again, you, we've talked about this before, but h how high do you think uh, food prices will continue to rise and for how long? Well, I think on some of the foodstuffs like corn, um, it's going to continue to go up and that's going to impact uh, food and drinks or, you know, other foodstuffs, drinks, uh, feed prices. And, and so it's going to be uh, another, another year or two. Other things like mm -hmm. cotton, which is not so much food, but, um, you know, you're already starting to see them coming off their highs. So it's, al it's always a balancing market. Always good to talk to you. Gene Tansky, CEO of Demand Foresight. Thanks for coming in again. Hey, thanks for having me.